My nose got a whiff of something peculiar, and about the same time, I heard a deep, long groan. I stopped in my tracks and spied a shiny man with an axe oddly frozen in place as he was about to whack a tree. Near him were pyramid displays of stumps of trees that looked to be the result of his previous mutilations, and no doubt he was about to add another to the pile. Infuriated with the damage of beautiful and useful trees, I, as any other dog, seldom can go far without needing one, I lunged at him with the intent to inflict pain. My jaws widened, and my fangs clamped into his ankle with a loud, metallic, hollow clunk. Stunned, I staggered backward and tried to recompose myself. What was this man made of, I wondered. Once recovered, I looked at his very round, shiny leg, but I could not find evidence of my assault. However, my assault must have had some effect, for I heard him moan and groan again, more deeply than before. Seeing that I could do little to stop this perpetrator without assistance, I decided to put my scent on him and mark him for future reference. No, Toto! That is so rude! She added, with a little stomp of her foot. Submitting to her command, I painfully forced myself to cease and desist. Scarecrow advised in a thoughtless manner, It may also dull or stain the lustrous sheen of this fine craftsmanship. The shiny man groaned again, and Dorothy took a cautious step to get a closer look. You groaned? Indeed I have moaned the shiny man despondently through a clenched mouth. You see, it has been more than a year since the rains came, thrusting me into this exact position, unable to move an inch more. Scarecrow ambled up to the shiny man and looked him over. From his posture and with raised axe, it appears his occupation is that of a woodman. He wrapped his gloved knuckles on the shiny man's side and his straw-filled hand produced a soft, hollow sound. It also appears he's wrapped in a thin layer of tin, yet, from the audible responses I received, he lacks any substantial structure within. A hollow tin man. However, if I may suggest, if his maker had substituted aluminum for tin, he may not have found himself in this, Oh, shut up and do something to help me. Toto's Adventures with Dorothy Written by Dennis Sanchez Narrated by Alex Ford